In this video, I will show you how to design this automated data entry form using Microsoft Excel. I am going to design a data entry form for collecting details of newly joined employee in the company. The same techniques can be used to create data entry forms for different purposes. Let's start with the title of the data entry form. Click on the cell B2, type in employee data form. Two cells below, employee name, employee code, email ID, date of birth, department, location, in the cell E4, basic salary, HRA, medical convoys, deductions, net pay. Let's adjust the column white. To align this text to the right side of the cell, select the cell containing data, align right, apply bold format, select the cells from B2 to F2, more cells, let's increase the font size to 20, we will change the background color, fill color, I'll go for dark green to apply white font color, font color, white, apply bold format. Now to highlight the cells for data entry, select the cells against the level employee name, apply gray color, borders, outside borders for copying this formatting to the other cells for data entry. Double click on the format, painter, select the cells meant for the data entry one by one. Press the escape key to turn off the format painter. These cells on the right side of the data entry form are meant for numbers to apply number format to these cells. Select the cells one by one. Right click on the selection, format cells, number, use 1000 separators, we don't need decimal places, ok, the cells against the label, date of birth will be used to enter a date, to apply date format to the cell, click on this cell, show date, in this data entry form, all entries except department, location, and net pay will be done manually. Right now, the company has four departments. To make this entry easier, click on the cell against the labor department in the data tab, data validation. Under validation criteria, list. Click inside this input box type in the name of the departments, technical, comma, admin, comma, accounts, comma hr okay now this cell has a drop down list which will help us to select the department next is location for selecting location we will be using option button also called radio button to insert a radio button here go to the developer tab but if you don't have a developer tab in the excel ribbon right click on any of these tabs customize the ribbon Mark the checkbox for developer. OK. Go to the developer tag. Insert under form controls. Select option button. Place it here near the label location. To edit the text on the option button, right click. Edit text. Site. To create a copy of this button, Right click, escape, press Ctrl D. See, we have a copy of the option button. Right click, edit text, office. Now to align these option buttons in a single line, right click, 
escape, holding the control key, click on the second button. Check format, align, align middle. Right click, escape. Use the arrow keys to adjust the position of the button. Next comes net pay. Basic salary plus HRA plus medical plus convoyance minus deduction is net pay. So let's create a formula for calculating net pay. Equal basic salary plus HRA plus medical plus convenience minus deductions. And now, now to highlight this data in the form from the other parts of the worksheet, let's apply an outside border. Select the cells from B2 to fix borders, outside borders. Let's remove the grid lines, view, grid lines, apply grey color for the cell outside the data entry form. To add the company logo on the data entry form, insert, illustrations, pictures, place over cells, this device. Select the logo using this dialog, insert, we can resize this picture using these options available on the picture format tab. Right click, copy, right click, paste as values. Now we need to put in a blank or put in this script. Okay. See the blank goes between the solid pictures that we do. I do the most of the use the blank goes. I do the blank goes. Select the blank goes. Cut 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 the blank goes. This is the point. Go to the top of 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 the top. Let's type in the name in the data entry form. See that input is reflected here. Let's link the remaining cells in the same manner. Employee code, email ID, date of birth, department. Next is location for extracting location. Right click on any of these buttons. Format control, checked. Click on this up arrow. Select the cell against the label location in column D. Click on this down arrow. OK. Two changes happened here. The value in the cell linked to the radio button has become 1 and the radio button called site has been selected. Now when I clicked on this button for office, the value in the cell linked to the radio button has become 2. Again, site, the value has become 1. Using this value, we will extract the location to the cell. For that, equal if function 
ओपन ब्रैकेट सेकेंड द सेल लिंक टू द रेडियो बटन इक्वल वन कमा इफ द वैल्यू इन दिस सेल इज वन दैट मीन्स द सेलेक्शन इज साइट डबल कोर्ट्स साइट डबल कोर्ट्स कमा इफ द वैल्यू इन द सेल इज नॉट वन दैट मीन्स द सेलेक्शन इज ऑफिस डबल कोर्ट्स ऑफिस डबल कोर्ट्स क्लोज ब्रैकेट इंटर लेट मी सेलेक्ट ऑफिस साइट नेक्स्ट इज बेसिक सैलरी इक्वल बेसिक सैलरी एच आर ए मेडिकल कन्वेन्स डिडक्शन finally net pay next we need a worksheet to store the entries we make the using this data entry form for that let me rename this worksheet right click rename form and a new worksheet rename it to database back to the sheet called form we will copy these labels right click copy database in the cell b2 paste the transpose of the copy data right click paste special values transpose okay let's adjust the column white we will change the background color to blue apply white font color increase the font size bold align to center to apply date format to the column for date of birth right click on the column holder format cells date okay for applying numbers format to the columns meant for numbers select the column holders right click format cells number use 1000 separators we don't need decimal places okay all entries we make using the data entry form will be stored under the corresponding column holders in this worksheet Let's see how it is done back to data entry form. Let me fill this form quickly. These inputs should automatically come under the corresponding column holders of this worksheet called database. Let's see how to automate that process. Go to the developer tab, click on record macro. I've named this macro as collect data. You can use whatever name you like. Okay. Now that the micro code collect data has started recording. So from now on, words repeat all my steps as it is until I click on this recording button. Go to the sheet called database. Click on the cell B3. Go to the home tag. Insert. Insert sheet rows. See, now new row got added here. At the same time, the formatting of the column holders got copied into the cells below. But we don't need the formatting. click on this button called insert options format same as below back to the set called form copy the cells containing entries right click copy go to the sheet called database in the cell b3 paste the transpose of the copy data right click paste special values transpose okay back to the sheet called form and clear the data entry form i mean delete the inputs
The cell against nav pay has the formula in it, so leave it as it is and select the cell against the label employee. Go to the developer tab, click on stop recording. So we have created a program for copying the inputs in the data entry form and paste it into the sheet called database. Now we will assign this program to a command button for that in the developer tab. Insert under form controls button. Place the button here. See a dialog called assigned micro is activated and the program we created collect data is listed here. Select the micro. OK. To edit the text on the button, right click, edit text. Submit. Let's fill the data into form again. Employee name. Before submitting the data, let's have a look at the sheet called database. Right now we have the only one. Record here back to the data entry form. Submit. See the data entry form got cleared and when we check the sheet called database, we have a new record here. Let me add one more very quickly. Submit. So we have created a macro for automating the data entry process. As this workbook is having a macro, we need to save this workbook as a macro enabled workbook. Let me show you how to do that. File, save as, browse, save as type, Excel macro enabled workbook. Rename the workbook if you want to and click on save. Now about adding a layer of protection to the data entry form. This will make sure that nobody can make any changes to this form except entering data. So for protecting this data entry form using a password, holding the control key, select the cells all for entering data. Also the cell link to the radio button. Right click on the selection. Format cells. Protection. Unmark the checkbox against the label locked. OK. Go to the review tab. Protect sheet. Type in a password. OK. Print out the password to confirm. OK. Now that this worksheet is protected, if you try to make a change in the worksheet, Excel will give you a warning message to make a change and protect the sheet using a correct password. But at the same time, data entry can be done without any problem. Like I mentioned before, the same techniques can be used to design data entry forms for different purposes. See you soon with another Excel tip. Thank you for watching and have a great day.